Greetings and salutations, my name is JW608, and today I am playing Star Mate on... Alright, and we have all types of fun and excitement planned for today. Well, not really. I'm gonna move the Ice Queen back. Well, actually, hold on, let me... Check, make sure everything's working fine. I got gravity. Because I got my new hard drive, and I am, as you can see, playing Star Mate again. I've also tweaked some settings, so hopefully I'm, my recording's looking better as well. Alright, um... Sam, are you still there? Yes. Everything looking good? All systems are fully operational. Very good, alright. Well, let's go in. Um... Let's build us a jump ship. The... Retina gate jumper. Let's snag that jumper. And let's build the jumper, except I have it in that, and I want it to be in this. Okay. Information at all. For some reason I can't fill a blueprint unless it's in my hand. Oh. Um also something I did. All those blocks and whatnot I, moved, I was carrying, I moved those into these crafting slots here, so I don't accidentally use them. My backup blocks. Oh, it looks like I have a couple of backup blueprints already. Alrighty. So we're still waiting on the squadron to meet. All our schedules and whatnot, so... Uh, so aren't going to do much along the lines of plot today. But I do want to move the Ice Queen back to home, squad home, because it's invincible there. And you're saying, didn't you already do that? Yes, yes I did. But then a certain someone I know um, attracted a Urso virus and I had to take him here. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Where am I? Guess I could show off. Yeah, I'm gonna do a behind the scenes stuff. Change of plans. That's the way it goes. Change of plans. Uh, the execution chamber in Jace Machine's video are the robot disposal chamber. Go watch his video if you haven't. Um, he get he got corrupted by Curso and we had to hunt him down. All right. So I guess we're gonna do a behind the scenes. I can take the ice queen to the to the uh, station off camera. And I didn't mean to do that. I was supposed to hit the button. I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, here's the chamber. I tried to make it dark and industrial looking because it's a robot disposal unit. But if you didn't see the video. Basically, we put the corrupted Jace machine in there, and we hit these two buttons. We got some bunch of flashing lights, and come on, and it breaks. Cool. All right. So what happened? Up in the build block, where am I? Right, what should have happened, me not being the Ice Queen, um, this rail should have hit this, and that should have. In this way, did I not reset something properly? That would have hit. It that flip well. Right. Then lights blink and lava comes down and destroys the rogue computer. Isn't that great? Except it's just a little lava door. And here the here's the logic. Basically, I had these two attached to an end that fed back to this back here, this flip flop. So when both of those fired, it 
told it to open this door. And this is a little door that slid backwards. And when it hit this unit, it turned on this display, which should have turned on the flip-flop you just saw. That it turns on this uh, rail unit here. And as the rail goes down, it hits this button. This button controls the yellow light. This button controls the flip-flop that controls the orange light. And the one down here is the red light. So the lights turn on as the, the lava comes down. Anyway, I thought that was just a nifty little behind-the-scenes thing. Let's see. And resetting this is a nightmare because I didn't do it because it was supposed to be a one-off unit. A one-off job. So it should unlight the lights. And green, I mostly did those there to help me in, in uh, bug testing to see where the uh, rails were. And I need to... Um, I guess hit R. Okay, that was different. I'm just going to cut a hole into my own station. Alright. No, oh, I wanted to not close the door on myself. I wanted to, there we go. Trigger that flip-flop to close the door. See? Alright, and turn these off. Oh, and to get in was another rail door. It's just the glass here. And so all together, this time it should work if I reset it properly. A slide open, and when it does, it turns on that light. Then the lava door comes down. And red when it's completely filled. Oh, oh right. Now let's see if I can remember how to reset it. I want to... That. Wait for it to... Again, I didn't set up logic for reset because I didn't actually intend to use it more than once. Okay. Now I want to get out of the build block. Not necessarily into the void of space, but hey. The void of the vacuum of space. And let's repair the hole in my station. Right. Now let's make our way toward squadron space. So I should check the map as well. You know, what, let's check the map before we um, before we. Uh, Really get going. So I do want to undock and my radar jammer charge. Let's set the waypoint for uh, squad home. There we go. How we doing? Well, we've acquired something here. UCS, UCS. That's micro outpost. That's Finn, I believe. UCS. Not Charlotte War to land. Guess not. Uh, oh, something's changed here. It, this is us. This is Armada. They took Curso, apparently. Oh, they took Curso. Did they? Were they able to defeat the oppressor? Oh, that's troublesome. So it looks like they lost this territory. That must have been some battle if they lost a system. But we're able to keep this system. Or take back this system. Hmm. Must be more powerful than I give them credit. That's alarming. That Armada owns Curso now. Might have to step up my timetable. Start moving fleets over 
to uh, to uh, engage Armada so we can have control of Curso to figure out what exactly the oppressor was and why it was there. I, I just know it's tied to Curso somehow, and probably Armada triggered it. Okay. Meddling with things they don't understand. Alright, anyway. Let's see. Jump drive, and we're jumping, and we're driving. Ooh, what are these? Rudikeen. Uh, Tiny Sapson. Actually, though, that's not bad for the Sapson and Verdikeen. That one looks like it's been chewed at two blocks total. Come on. You need an asteroid eat the whole thing. This one has four blocks total. Can I find them? Oh, no, don't run into the asteroid. Oh, yeah. Just take care of those real quick. I don't see the other blocks. Oh, the server's a little choppy today. Huh. Are those the two... Oh, this looks like one of those double up asteroids. Looks like it's tripled up. That's strange. Let me snag these two little guys here. I will be back to uh, properly dispose of these asteroids later. So I've been going through lots of uh, resources here recently. Wonder if it's because I'm building a dreadnought. Probably is. Okay. Hello. Is that what I think it is? I believe that is what I think it is. Oh, it is. And all its majesty and glory. Armada stands no chance now. But if you don't know what that is, then I'm not going to spoil it. Ah. How about that? <laughs> if you do know what that is, then you should be excited. Alright. Let's go ahead and... I want to spawn in the jumper, because I... That's the whole reason I built it, because I wasn't really planning on staying here long. Except I really probably should go out of gravity. Yes, I'm not aligned properly because... I parked funny. And I didn't use the button for that. Man, I always feel bad when I don't use the button top provided for us. Uh, let's hop up this way. Alright, I'm going to do the boring thing of going back home. So, I guess I'll leave you here. Anywho, I'm... JW608, this is StarMade, and it's good to be back. Alright, let's see if I can remember how I rolled the outro. It's been so long. <laughs>